I have to be very careful about how I make this video because the current cancel culture could definitely cancel me for this video. Now my point is if you are a green elephant, a red tiger, a blue Martian, just because you identify as something does not mean that you are absolved of harassing people, sexual harassment, and or racism. So this has come out and you can see these tweets are very strange and they come from a very famous Magic the Gathering player. In fact, one of the few African American Magic the Gathering players does respond at the end and I just want to read you his responses because it's pretty enlightening that he was harassed, uh, maybe even you know, sexual. he felt sexual harassment. Uh, Anthony, since you're so adamant, she has as recently as last year said super uncomfortable things to me on Twitter with people calling her out on it. She has since apologized since she thought we were on the level of talking. Such things include, that's why you don't get no titty is a tame one. So this is an African American Magic the Gathering player who we know and who's a pretty good Magic player. And he is being harassed at Star City Games Baltimore in 2014, 15, I forget. She said to my face, I could go for some black meat. I was really stupid and didn't realize how harmful harmful and fetishizing it was. There are multiple personals of sexual harassment from black men with her that wasn't talked about. I specifically didn't want to be mentioned or anything of the sort because the last thing I wanted to do was put a trans woman through any sort of public bullshit. I held it off for years I even pushed people involved to just drop it because of that. So this is an African American male who felt that he was harassed by a trans individual. And just because an individual is trans, non-trans, it doesn't mean that, I mean, we're all human beings. We're all sexually harass people, right? I mean, look at the MTG Judge Network. They have a whole network well, I mean, I'm not going to get into this video because I want to focus. Because I can get in trouble for a lot of things I say in this video. And hence why no one's talking about it except for me. It's pretty weird. I specifically didn't want to be mentioned or anything of that sort. Because the last thing I wanted to do was put a trans woman through any sort of public BS. And that's kind of like what many people feel. I don't think this guy is alone in feeling that way where sometimes very suggestive things are kind of brushed to the side because of who, how someone identifies themselves. Which by the way is a massive, massive no-no on my part. I should have never even mentioned it. But the fact that you, a white person, took the topic of a white woman sexually harassing and being gracious to black people and somehow felt that trans misogyny was the motivator. I'm not even mad at you. In fact, that is what I expected out of the community. So let me repeat again why this all came to light. Uh, July this year, a lot of things came to light and then people started doing research and then the research turned out to be like, oh, there's something that's not right here. And this is a person sponsored by Wizard of Coast I believe she is sponsored by Star City Games. I believe she's one of the most famous Magic players in the game, to be quite honest. I don't really know why, but she is uh, in terms of Twitter followers, in terms of subscribers. And it's a very dangerous person to um, go after for many reasons. And just like Anthony said, you know, but the fact that you, a white person, took the topic of a white woman sexually harassing and being racist to black people and somehow felt that trans misogyny was the motivator. I'm not even mad at you. In fact, that's what I expected out of the community. I will have his tweets and the end. I just forgot to add them. I mean, I think his tweets are actually the most important of all the tweets because 
it shows you the frustration level. This guy's been frustrated about this issue for six, seven, eight years now. And he just couldn't say it because everyone's afraid. Everyone's afraid to say it. They've silenced the opposition. So things that we would say, oh, you're harassing this individual. Oh, you're racist. We can't say it. I can't, I, I don't even want to say this stuff. I'm just repeating you what he said. You know, he's a, he's a braver man than I am, honestly. Uh, I'm not even mad at you. In fact, that's what I expected out of the community because I guarantee you if it were a white man doing this, you'd be all over it and shouting how much black people deserve better. This is why black people don't speak up. This is why we just deal with it. Because your belief victims and listen to black people stick has caveats and asterisks and doesn't imply intersectionality. The burden is always on us to be perfect. Thanks. Um, and it gets even crazier. Actually, no, I'm not done. I'm genuinely interested in two things. What would you have done differently? And two, why you seem to have this standard for black people compared to anyone else? And then somebody said, who is she in this context? Generally curious. And then the she is obviously the person whose tweets we're looking at right now. I'm sorry this happened to you. Proud of you for speaking up, uh, said the white woman. And the... What's it's an Aaron, it's some other person, and then, um, and then you know, you have a white male defending Aaron. Why is the tweet assumingly with the proof deleted and it was deleted by Aaron? So that's just kind of how our I mean, the Magic the Gathering this is what it is, okay? If you play someone and they are identify a certain way. You can't beat them. You have to lose to them because otherwise you have bullied them, right? You bullied them by beating them and you made them feel depressed and sad and they're going, depression is going to spiral out of control and they can no longer make NPL videos. This is honestly effed up and thank God the NPL does not exist anymore, but it did exist and they gave all the voice and but this is not what the magic the average casual magic player wants to ha experience. Do they want to go to a magic tournament and be harassed, sexually harassed? Like do I want to go to a magic tournament and be sexually harassed and fetishized because I'm a certain race? Hell no. But so why is this okay? Why is one of the most famous magic the gathering and and I can read you out, out. It's okay because the reason this is okay is because no one can talk about it. You're, you're, you're silenced. They've canceled you. I am going to talk about it because I do feel, um, I do feel people need to know that this is happening behind the scenes. And I'm, I'm proud that this guy, Anthony, um, who is a, He's a very good magic player. He is an African American male. He, I think, believe he is a cis African American male, and people who have said very racist things to him that he believes probably is racist is now, you know, they're 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 the head of the Black Lives Matter movement. It doesn't make any sense. It reminds me of that um, white woman who was like the head of the NWACP or something. It was like, wait. And see, taught like African history in, in, in school. It, it kind of, it's like, whoa, but you're white. Like, is this really like, you know, we couldn't hire an African American? And then she was pretending she was African American. And I, I just don't, like, hey, like, as a minority myself, some of this stuff is really BS. And I understand what it is, right? I understand what it is. Um, and, it has to be addressed in our community. And I, I know, I know why no one talks about it. I know why it's it's brushed under the rug. And I mean, I, I get it. I get it. It's the same thing Anthony says. He doesn't want to bring attention, you know, BS attention to a trans individual because then they'll attack the individual for being trans and not necessarily the argument he's having that this individual has put me in, you know, has sexually assaulted me. Or sexual has made sexual not assault sexual harassment to me. Um, this is one of the most famous magic players in the game in the history of the game, and 
Uh, I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised at all. I'm sure this behavior, I mean, as a white, uh, not white, as a, even if you are white cis male, or if you're an African American cis male, or if you are an Asian cis male, which I am, it would be crazy, crazy for you to have to deal with this. This type of harassment, this level of harassment that this individual has to deal with. And ima- you're going to play Magic the Gathering to have some fun, enjoy the game. And oh, hey, this individual is just hitting on you. If if it was reversed and this was a white male hitting on an African-American female. What do you think would happen? Right? What, what do you think would happen? What, how would the community see it? So at SGC Baltimore, she said to my face, I could go for some black meat. I mean, this is sexual harassment, no? Like, how else can you interpret this? I was really stupid and didn't realize how harmful. There are multiple personals. I specifically didn't want to be mentioned or anything of the sort because of the last thing I wanted to do was put a trans woman through any pub sort of public bullshit. I and even from the comments to this, you can tell they're actively going against him. They're gonna they they're going against him. They don't want to hear what he has to say. But it, I think it's important. I think it's really, really, really important. Um Yeah, I, I'm not sure why things are this way. Um, but it, it's got to, I mean, it's bad. You know, it's bad. Uh, Aaron has told opponents to die in a fire and has engaged in sexual harassment of fellow players. This cannot be tolerated by Wizards of the Coast who has a responsibility to ensure players are free from this appalling behavior at this. But not only is this behavior appalling, this behavior is encouraged by Wizard of Coast if you fall under a certain group. And I've said that from the get-go. Some people, like the MPL, there, there are different standards for Owen, who's a white male who has to stream 8 to 10 hours a day, from other individuals who fall under a different classification and they may not have to stream ever and they're going to get paid the same amount. Imagine working at a place where one, you work your ass off to make sure the company is good and one of your co-workers refuses to work because of mental health issues. You're going to eventually have to do their work or the company is going to fail. In this case, the MPL failed. Hi guys. <laughs> 